Welcome everyone to my latest poor financial decision. Or at least that's how I was going to start this video off. But you see, I actually did pretty good on this one. I bought this 1996 Honda Civic for just $700. And I'm gonna transform it into the ultimate daily driver and show you guys how you can do the same at home, in your garage, or even in your driveway. But there's just one thing with this one. Uh, it doesn't run, or at least not right now. I bought it from a guy, said it had some charging issues, so we're gonna tear into that first. But before we do, I wanna take you guys on a little tour of what $700 gets you in today's market. Okay, so from this angle right here, it looks great, nearly perfect. We've got a little bit of a paint issue here on the front bumper, but we're gonna be respraying this entire car an entirely new color. And again, we're gonna show you guys how to do that for yourself as well. From the condition of the roof, you can really tell that this car has sat under a tree because this right here is just absolutely filthy up here. This car was a California car, so rust is at an absolute minimum here. You see a little bit of a nick here in the rear wheel well area right here. That's pretty common on the sixth generation Civics. You'll start to see rust over in this area. So that's a common thing to look for when you're looking at these cars. Around back, we've got a little nick here in the bumper cover, but we should be able to actually pull this back out and then use plastic welding to fix this and again that's another thing that we're going to be able to show you guys it does have an aftermarket muffler on it and it is pretty worn down so we'll probably end up replacing that but it is this view where we will find primarily most of our issues first off this was impacted back here in the quarter panel right at that seam where the quarter panel meets the bumper luckily we've got full access from the inside to be able to push this out and the rust looks to be just surface rust here. It's absolutely minimal. You got some around here. And again, in that problem area in the wheel well, but we should be able to get all of that fixed. We'll show you guys how to do it at home as well. And then going down the side, this is also where it was impacted. You can see this discoloration. You see the line right here. It goes all the way to about right there. We should be able to pop most of that out and then do some body work to fix that. But then up here, <laughs> this is also not the prettiest fix, but it did work. This is a piece of plexi sitting in here with all of this uh, sealer going around it. We've got a whole other window. We're going to replace it. May do a video on that. May not. It's not something everybody's looking to do at home, but we will be replacing this. We have the replacement glass on the way. Another huge reason why I bought this car is that it is completely untouched every single piece on this car that is left or not damaged is completely original it's even got the factory hubcaps on it which uh those cost quite a penny these days i bought a set of these for my friend's honda orthia not too long ago and it was like a hundred dollars the headlights are pretty yellow and cloudy i may show you guys how to restore your headlights at home using a sanding kit or something like that uh to where you can restore these things but i I've actually got some lenses on the way already that remove this amber strip and we'll get a clear bulb for that as well. So it'll really freshen up the front end of the car. And also while we're up here, the state we're in doesn't require front plates. So we may shave this down completely whenever we go to spray the car another color and get rid of the license plate brackets. And this is the worst of the condition of that front bumper paints come off and it's been scratched up from an impact here but overall it's not bad it's not hurt too bad so we should be able to pull all of that out whenever we go to paint it and it'll uh, match up with the rest of the car the windshield wiper arms are also supposed to be like powder coated black to match the cowl here but like most civics it's all chipped off over time and then you're left with this exposed arm here you can actually see the original finish down here is that black color but it's all basically raw metal here so i'll be fixing that as well now it's time we take a look at the inside of the car 
take a closer look. It's a little bit dirty, but overall, not bad looking in here. I mean, the seats don't even have a tear in them. They look phenomenal. Dash is all factory. It even has the factory radio and the tape player that's down here as well. It works phenomenally. But I've got new speakers that are gonna be going in this because they're the factory speakers, both the six and a halfs in the doors and the six by nines in the rear. But if we look up, yeah, the headliner's completely gone. I'm gonna have to get some new headliner material. We're gonna rip that out, and I'll show you guys how you can put a new headliner in your vehicle at home as well. And again, we're having a voltage issue with this car, so it'll start, but it won't charge. Now, this car is an LX model, so it doesn't have the sunroof, but it does have cruise control. That is something that I have been missing since my very first EK I ever had back like 12, 13 years ago. Now let's pop the hood. This is where we will find a completely unmodified D16Y7. Now it does not have VTEC. And if we look here, the battery is pretty new and the alternator is also pretty new, but yet it's not charging. So that will definitely be the first thing we'll address on this. We'll also try to address the grounds over here and make sure that they are all connected and have connectivity as well. But again, everything in here is absolutely fast factory, factory air box. We've already checked the filter. It's nice and new. We're probably going to want to do a little tune up with some plugs, wires, all that good stuff. The distributor seal over here is leaking just a little bit, not really a leak, but more of like a, a seepage as well as a couple of the coolant hoses. So I've got a coolant hose set and we're going to be replacing all of the coolant hoses when we're in here doing all of this. And just for good measure, I'm going to order a new timing belt for the thing and a water pump. So this will be a complete maintenance an overhaul under the hood, fixing all of the common issues with these things because the hoses do go bad over time. And this looks to be all original hoses under the hood of this thing. So really wanting to try and avoid any of the common issues you get on these things as this will be a daily driver. So now if you've made it this far in the video, I will divulge to you some of the plans that we have for this thing. We will be transforming this car in quite a few ways with some very key sponsors that I will get to in later episodes. But basically, we are going to be lowering it with coilovers. We've got some awesome new wheels and tires to accommodate that suspension kit. And then we've got some accessories that are gonna be going on the outside to just kind of freshen up the look as well as a complete color change on the vehicle. And again, all of this is stuff that you will be able to do at home, in your driveway, in your garage with minimal tools required. So with that said, be sure to follow along if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoy this type of content and then comment down below what you think we should do to this awesome start of a project car here. I cannot wait to get started on this thing. We're gonna tear into it immediately. And first we're gonna solve those charging issues. But thanks again for watching you guys. Take care. We will see you very, very soon. Later.